Hello students, welcome to SK Smart Teaching. In my previous videos, I explained about structure of leaf, types of leaf, leaf venation and phyllotaxy. Please find the links in the description box provided down. Today, I am here with a new topic, functions of a leaf. In this video, I am also introducing a self-assessment program for which I am so excited. Through SAP test, students can answer the questions which are asked during the video and students can check their answers at the end of the video. To boost up your analysis and application skills, a free worksheet link for the same topic was also given in the description. Complete the worksheet and comment in the comment box here for the key. So let's quickly start our class now on functions of a leaf. Basically, leaves perform three functions such as manufacturing food, gaseous exchange and transpiration. Let us study the first one that is manufacturing of food. Green plants are called producers or autotrophs as they prepare their own food. For example, algae along with all green plants and some bacteria and fungi. Green plants use energy from the sun and also in the presence of green color pigment called chlorophyll they convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and release oxygen this process is called photosynthesis the term photosynthesis is derived from two words photon means light and synthesis means building up using the sunlight producing the food is nothing but photosynthesis the raw material required for photosynthesis are carbon dioxide water sunlight and chlorophyll so carbon dioxide is obtained from the atmosphere through stomata and water is absorbed by the roots from the soil sunlight is natural and chlorophyll is present in the leaf itself photosynthesis can be expressed as a following word equation that is carbon dioxide plus water under sunlight repeat carbon dioxide plus water under sunlight and in the presence of chlorophyll converts carbon dioxide and water into glucose that is starch plus oxygen that means oxygen is released the glucose which is produced is transported from the leaves to other parts of the plant it is also converted into starch and stored in various storage organs within the plant itself oxygen released during photosynthesis is used by all organisms to breathe that means we human beings, animals, we all survive breathing oxygen only. Before going to learn second function of a leaf, let's do sap test. Your first question is, autotrophs are the A. Organisms which break down complex molecules into simple molecules. B. Organisms which makes their own food. C. Organisms which depends on other organisms for food. D. None of the above. Think and note down your answer so that you can check your answers in the end of the video. Now your second question. What are the raw materials required for photosynthesis? A. Carbohydrates, water, sunlight and chlorophyll. B. Carbon dioxide, oxygen, water and sunlight. Option C. Sunlight, water, carbon dioxide and chlorophyll. Option D. Chlorophyll, oxygen, water and glucose. Read the question carefully and attempt the answer. And your third question mm -hmm. now. What are the products of photosynthesis process? Products are nothing but the result. Whatever it is producing by the end of the photosynthesis. Option A. Carbon dioxide and water. Option B. Glucose and carbon dioxide. Option C. Starch and oxygen. Option D, oxygen and carbon dioxide. Now, let us go to your fourth question. How does the carbon dioxide enters the leaf? Option A, through stomata. Option B, through roots. Option C, both A and B options. Option D, none of the above. So, you can check the answers at the end of this video. Until then, let us learn about the second function of the leaf. That is, gaseous exchange. During daytime, plants take in carbon dioxide to perform photosynthesis and release 
oxygen through the stomata. At night, plants take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide into the air through stomata which is called cellular respiration in the plant. Gaseous exchange takes place through stomata. Stomata are the tiny pore present mostly on the lower side of the leaves and on green stems. Plural is stomata, singular is stroma. Each stroma has bean-shaped cells called guard cells. Yes, guard cells in the sense which works as guarding security, right? sending in or sending out of it. So, chloroplast is found in guard cells of stomata. When a plant is watered, roots absorb the water. Through root pressure, the water travels and reaches to the leaf. Through veins and veinlets, the water reaches to the guard cells. Once the guard cells are full with water, they bulk outer side and stomata open. Open stomata allows gas entry and exit. When the guard cells lose water, they lose their turgidity and stomata closes wherein it releases oxygen. Normally, stomata remain open during the day and close at night. So, daytimes plants take carbon dioxide and at nights plants take up oxygen. So, again the time for sap test. Your fifth question now. Think and note down your answer. Stomata open and close according to dash of guard cells. A. Flaccidity. B. Turgidity. C. Rigidity. D. None. Going to the sixth question now. Choose the incorrect statement. Option A. Stomata guards the exchange of gases. Option B. Stomata opens during day and closes at night. Option C. Stomata allows only carbon dioxide. Option D. All the above. And now your seventh question. Choose the correct statement. Option A. Plant respire during daytime. B. Plant take up oxygen for photosynthesis. Option C. Plant release carbon dioxide during daytime. Option D. Plant exchange gases through chlorophyll. Now, let us learn about transpiration, the third function of a leaf. During sunny day, when temperature and humidity is high, our body feels it hot and starts sweating. Body sweat keep our body cool. In the similar manner, plant also sweats to keep its body cool. Nothing but by the process called transpiration. Transpiration is a process through which a plant releases its excess water into air in the form of water vapor through stomata. Transpiration takes place during daytime. It is evaporation of water from plant leaves. Guttation is another plant process which is very similar to transpiration but is related to root pressure. Guttation is a process through which excess water oozes out in a liquid state that is in the form of droplets into the atmosphere through a vascular bundle, xylem and takes place during only night times. I hope you understood the topic but let's make our understanding more better by differentiating these concepts. Difference between transpiration and guttation. Water is released in the form of water vapor in transpiration, whereas water is released in the form of liquid state in guttation. Transpiration occurs during daytime, whereas guttation occurs during nighttime. Transpiration gives cool effect to the plant, and guttation doesn't give any cool effect to the plant. Transpiration is an evaporation process, whereas guttation is related to root pressure. Now, let us even study the difference between transpiration and photosynthesis. In the transpiration process, water is released in the form of vapor state. But in photosynthesis process, the products are glucose and oxygen. In transpiration process, stomata helps in removal of excess water. In photosynthesis, stomata helps in exchange of gases. Yeah. Transpiration process takes place in all plants, whereas photosynthesis takes place only in green plants. It's time for sap test again. Your eighth question now. Transpiration is option A loss of water in soil, option B loss of minerals in the soil, option C loss of water vapor from the soil, option D loss of gas from the leaves. Think and answer. And your ninth question now. Transpiration is very important for plants because it helps in Option A. 
the absorption of water from the soil option b the cooling of leaves at high temperature option c the movement of water and minerals absorbed by the roots to various parts of the plant option d all of the above and your final question of the session gattation is the result of option a root pressure option b diffusion option c transpiration option d osmosis great job children hope you have enjoyed the class today now it's time for you to know answers of sap test here are your answers it's <laughs>